Sons of the Forest. Every enemy you face will have AI interweaved into their coding to make them each unique and different from the others. This is the same for the friendly companions you come across as well, like Kelvin or Virginia, the three-armed, three-legged woman who apparently will dual-wield a shotgun and pistol for you. Let's start with Kelvin, who got stranded with you on the island and suffers from a brain condition after being injured in a plane crash. Due to this injury, he cannot speak, but is described to be helpful, obedient, and loyal, much like a dog would be. You can use a notepad to task him out to do gathering work like harvest for logs, rocks, sticks, and more busy work. Then when he has them, he can place them where you need or just give them to you. Where the AI portion comes in is that he will react and adjust to the environment as it changes. He won't just continue walking with sticks in his hands while being attacked by a mutant. He will run away, come warn you, or fight back if he is able. If your back is turned to an enemy, he will point at them in an attempt to alert you, and he will obviously join up in arms against foes who seek to destroy the home you both try and build. You will notice while he gathers and works that he will monitor his own vitals of a sort. He will rest if he starts getting tired. He will eat his own food, drink his own water. If you do treat him poorly, his performance will get worse as well, maybe bringing you less resources. Because why would he not? Don't be a jerk. You can even give him a radio and he will hold it for you while you walk through the world. Your own personal beatbox. The goal with Kelvin is to emulate the multiplayer experience and give solo players the option without it being a hindrance if they so choose. But if you choose not to want Kelvin, you can't just wish him away. No, 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 no. You're going to need to get your hands dirty. You are going to need to place an arrow, a, a bullet, or some other foreign object inside his brain to get him to go away. You're going to have to kill Kelvin. That's, that's that's what I mean. Much of this will be the same with Virginia, though they have not released much information about her quite yet. It is said that she is similar to a house cat, territorial, independent, and she likes to take naps in the sun. If you also have cat-like qualities, subscribe for more survival vids. The enemies of the Sons of the Forest are quite unique indeed. Ferocious foes who each and every one of them has their own thoughts about you as a character. If they notice you, they may attack immediately and not stop till one of you are lying dead in a ditch. They may attack and retreat if it's not going well. They may attack, get injured, and beg for mercy. They may call for aid. They may climb trees to avoid your assault, or they may just watch you from a distance. You will see in some sneak peek videos that they will even mourn their fallen if they have died. They have memories, and they will remember you and what you did, good or bad. This will enable us, the players, to build a kind of relationship with these characters, though they are cannibals, in a very interesting way way. You will see them wearing clothes now as well, which is vastly different from the first game where they were all just naked and proud. One of the reasons they decide to put clothes on is their ability to notice and adapt to weather conditions, which are now seasonal, by the way. So don't be surprised to see a horde of smartly sweatered cannibals coming your way. Some NPCs will have better leadership qualities than others and will be able to influence the decisions of the group they are with, which also includes promoting a hecking religion in their circle. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine traversing the forest and coming across a religious zone of cannibals, one that is so far removed from the other cannibal camps you have seen. Dealing with these cannibals who have such different proclivities and ideas and methods of problem solving, would you even want to deal with them the same way you dealt with the other cannibals? What does their religion mean to them? How does it decide and dictate what they should do with you? There are even factions in the Sons of the Forest. Not all cannibals are the same or come from the same place. Some like each other, some hate each other, but regardless of their feelings about one another, the actions they take based on that feeling will be different. If they see the player go on a murderous rampage against them, you may notice that they start arming themselves with better weapons or better armor pieces, and they may even increase hunting parties as well that go directly for you. I cannot begin to put into words how excited I am about this game and how intense I think it will be, but the artificial intelligence that they have built out and introduced into the NPCs is going to make this a totally different experience from anything that we have experienced in the past. I believe Sons of Forest will change what it means to be labeled a survival game. It's going to increase the bar. But what are you most excited to see? Cannibals adjust to weather or your character? Turf force between mutants and cannibals? Fellowshipping with your Calvin or Virginia? The possibilities are there and the game is soon to follow. Tell me in the comments below what you're most excited to see. Thanks for watching. Happy surviving. Path out.